Hello students. In this session, I will explain you question number 6 of exercise 6.3. Now, question number 6 is more or less same to question number 5. Yesterday, what we did is that what was the smallest number that uh, should be multiplied with the required number. There were some numbers so that the number could become a perfect square. Now, in this case, in question number 6, the same criteria is there but a li something little uh, different that is uh, this time they have asked what is the smallest number that you have to divide with the following number so that it could become a perfect square. Now this time we have to divide not multiply but the initial thing will be all same that is you have to do go for prime factorization. So that is 212, 126, 263. To uh, 321, 37, and 71. Now you will write it in this way, we will write it down just like yesterday. So these are all numbers which are in pairs, but 7 is not in pairs. So you will write that hence prime factor. 7 is not in pair. This is the first line that you have. So, 7 should so 2, 5, 2 should be divided by 7 to make it a perfect square. Okay, so now we know what is the smallest number with uh, 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 that uh, with uh, with um, uh, 252 that has to be divided. So let's divide this 252 with 7. So your answer would be 36. Now you have to show that this 36 is really a perfect square number. So again you have to go for a prime factorization 36. 2 18s, 2 9s, 3 3s, and 3 1s. Isn't it? This is a prime factorization. So, how will you write it down? How many 2s are there? 2. So, 2 into 2. And how many 3s are there? 3 into 3. So, we know that for each pair, one number will come out. For each pair, one number will come out. So, 6 is the answer. So, 36 is actually a perfect square number. Now let's move on to sum number 3. Yes, now this is sum number 3. Again, we'll start in the same way that is, we have to do prime factorization method. So 2 1s are 2, 2 9s are 18, 2 8s are 16, 2 9s are 18, 2 9s are 18, 3 33s are 3 11s are, and 11 1s are. So 3 96 will be written as 2 into 2, 3 into 3, <coughs> 11. So these are all numbers in pairs, but 11 is not in pairs. So hence, prime factor 11 is not in pair. So 396 should be divided by 11 to to make it a perfect square now what we'll do we'll divide that is 396 396 divided by 11 so what will be the answer 11 3 is 33 again 36 is coming so we know that 36 is what 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 isn't it so 2 into 3 so answer is 6 fine so let's move on to sum number 5 this is sum number 5 so let's begin with the prime factorization 2 1 4 0 0 Two seven hundred sir. Two three five zero. 
2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 7, 4, 2, 1, 75. Now this is divisible by 3, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 5. No, this will be divisible by 5. The 5, 3 is a 15, 5, 4 is a 25, 5, 7 is a 7, 1 is a. So 2, 8, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2 is a there. 2 5s are there and 1 7 is there. So clearly it is seen that 7 is unpaired. Hence prime factor 7 is unpaired. You can write in short. So 2 8 0 0 should be divided. by 7 to make it a perfect square so let's divide then 2800 0, 0 divided by 7 so answer would be 400 now we have to check that 400 is really a perfect square so we have to give some evidence to this so let's start with 400 so it is 2 100, 100, 250, <coughs> 225, 5 5s are and 5 1s are. So how many 2s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2 5s are there. 5 into 5. And for each pair we know that 1 1 digit will come for each pair. Yes, now what is the answer? 20. So 20 into 20 is 400. So hence, number 400 is a perfect square. Okay, let's move on to question number 6. Yes, this is question number 6. So let's begin to wait the 16. Okay, now this will be divisible by 2, 4 is 8, 0, 5. Now let's divide by 3. 3, 1 is 3. 3 3 is a 9, 3 5 is a 15, again with 3, 3 4 is a 12, 3 5 is a 15, 3 15 is a 3 5 is a, and at last 5 1 is a. So 1 6 2 0 is equals to 1 2, 2 2 is a there, how many 3? 1 2 3 4, 3 3 is a there. 3's are there and do 1, 5. So, which is unpaired? Yes. Hence, prime factor 5 is unpaired. So, 1, 6, 2, 0 should be divided by 5. To make it a perfect square. Okay, so let's divide now. Divided by five. So your answer would be mm, three fives are five threes are fifteen. One, two. So the answer would be three, two, four. Okay, now let's check whether 3 to 4 is a perfect square or not. For that, we have to go for prime factorization. So, 2 1s are 2, 2 6s are 12, 2 2s two are 4. 81, 3 27, 3 9. So, this is a required prime factorization of 3 24. So, we'll write it down in this way. How many two? One, two. And how many threes are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So just make the pair. So for each pair, one one digit will come. So it is 18 is answer. That means 18 into 18 is 324. Okay? So for this session, your assignment is question number six, all sum.
okay i have not done question number 2 and question number 4 so you will do it on yourself all of you fine on seventh period i will come up with another sum that is question number 7 fine thank you and take care